action from the first set. Katarina Kovac pushes it outside to Teresa Truco. Strong finish from the Commodore sophomore. Stephanie Kelly sees Ponch in a one-on-one -on -one situation on the right side. Elise Ponchione fires it down the line. Free ball for Lorraine. Hannah Pinky gets it to the center. Kovac finds the hot hand. Truco powers it through for kill number five. Lorraine ends the set with a four-point run. Kovac goes to Pinky. Ponch breaks it up. Kelly sees the block and sets Ponch. Tremendous effort from Howard's opposite hitter. Commodore serving Howard. Jessica Turner sends a good pass to the center. Heather Reed goes up and puts it away. Kelly passes outside to Eater. Lorraine absorbs the attack. There's a joust at the net. Here's Truco. Reed gets the ball. Kelly likes what she sees on the right side. Ponch finds the seam, and Howard takes a two-point lead. Set point for the Dragons. Howard gets into their system. Stephanie Kelly outside to Nicole Eater. Howard wins a second set and ties the match. Here's Truco serving for the Commodores. Howard runs it up the middle. Victoria Johnson tees off, and the defender wants no part of it. Johnson breaks up the attack. Kelly sends it outside to Reed. Heather Reed nails it through to give Howard a five-point lead. Later in the set, Kovach runs it up the gut to Shannon Dingy. She fires it to the floor. Dingy sets up Truco for the tip. A 6-2 run brings Lorraine back into the match. Free ball for the Commodores. Truco gets it to the setter, right back to Truco. Lorraine outscores Howard 10-3 down the stretch to steal the third set. Fourth set, Lorraine serving Howard. Ponch passes to Kelly. Reed goes up against the lone blocker and she puts it away. Ensuing rally, Pinky fires a shot down the line. Big time dig from Eater. The Dragons send it over. Lorraine gets into their system. Kovac, outside to Pinky, turned away by Stephanie Kelly, and a point on the swing by Chelsea Perinello. Kovac sets Pinky on the outside. She forces the overpass and brings the Commodores back within one. Kelly has two hitters to choose from. Heather Reed hits the gap. Set point for the Dragons. Kelly goes back to Reed. Pinky is there defensively. Kovac outside to Truco. Teresa Truco extends the set for Lorraine. The Commodores need two points to win the match. Ponch gets a hand on it. Stephanie Kelly puts it away on the second contact. Crucial play for the Dragon setter. Set point for Howard. Lorraine can't control the serve. The Dragons force a fifth set. This is the race to 15. Here's Lorraine serving Howard. Heather Reed goes cross court for the kill. Howard storms out to an 8-2 lead. Truco denied by Elise Ponchione. Howard now leads by seven in the deciding set. Kelly delivers another perfect set. Johnson pounds it through the block. Championship point for Howard. Stephanie Kelly sees the block. Ponch is open. The Dragons bring home the district title. Howard is going to the Nationals for the first time in program history. Let's go to Matt Stovall for the Dragon Sports Radio post-game report. Stephanie, what was you and your teammates' mindset going into the championship match? Our mindset was we had room to make errors and to just take it to them and just play our game the way we always play, especially how we played Hagerstown, and just really like allow ourselves to make the mistakes and we can play our hardest. Heather, what was your team's mindset when things didn't go your way, you lost the first set? What did you tell your teammates? I think the most important thing we thought of was this has never been done in Howard history and we really wanted to be that group to break that record and thrive and see how far we can really push ourselves and I think all of us just really worked as a team, we really pulled it together, we were like one on the court instead of six individuals and I just, I told everyone, we were all telling everyone to just relax, just calm down, take a deep breath, we were saying pound the ball as hard as you can and pounding the ball really got us through and got us the win. Stephanie, describe the emotion going into that fifth set. Um, I was ready to take it to him. Like Heather said, we wanted to be the first people to ever do this in all of Howard County and even our school. And just, I was overwhelmed by how much my team really has the passion to play volleyball, and that just really helped my emotions going in, knowing that we could take that fifth set. Heather, what do your teammates mean to you? My teammates, what the, my teammates mean to me is basically they're my family. Uh, we play so well together, and in, instead of being six individuals, we come as one. And I just feel like that's just so strong of an emotion to get that it's just like 
it's like they're part of my family and I never want to stay out of touch with any of them. My family. <laughs> All right, Stephanie, Heather, congratulations on all your success. I've been inspired by your team the whole season. Good luck going to Nationals. Thank you. For Dragons Lear Update, I'm Matt Stovall.